Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. So today I got a nice cream popsicle bold lip makeup inspired tutorial. So if you're interested, then stay tuned. The first thing I'm gonna start off with is, <laughs> yeah, I think it would help if I held it up upright, is my Neutrogena Sun Screen. And I like to just soak my skin into it right before I apply my foundation and whatnot. I love this stuff and sunscreen is very important. Next, <laughs> what? Next, I'm gonna be going in with my Anastasia Brow Pomade Pomade <laughs> in medium brown and just blend that out. I have a brow tutorial that is my go-to brow tutorial and I will link that in the description box down below. Next, I'm gonna be taking my Soft Ochre Eye Primer and I'm just gonna be priming my eyelids, dragging it upwards to warm my, towards my brow bone, making sure that that's blended properly because if it's not, you'll see it through the eyeshadow and it ain't cute, girl, it ain't cute. I'm gonna be taking my Kat Von D Matte Eye Contour Palette and I'm gonna be using this taupey brown color and just carving out my crease area. Starting off on the outside, dragging it inwards. Yes, yes, blend, blend. Next, I'm going to be taking this beautiful coral blush from MAC. And I'm just going to drag it right over my crease area, warming up my crease a little and having like a nice diff. Ow! <laughs> I just poked myself with my brush. How embarrassing. And then I'm going to be going in with this cream, orange cream popsicle color. I don't know. It's such a pretty matte color. It's in my Kat Von D palette and I will list it down in the description box. Pushing that onto just my eyelid. And then I'm gonna be taking a matte chocolate brown color and just carving out my crease. I will list all the colors down in the description box in order not to worry. Going in with my peach luster and this is a corrector for those of you who don't know. Um, it's my favorite corrector ever, yes! <laughs> Um, next, I'm going to be going in with my Estee Lauder's Double Wear Foundation in 3W2. That's my shade. It's equivalent to the Max NC42, I guess. And I like using my fingers to apply it onto my face because I don't want to use too much because I know I'm going to be contouring and highlighting the heck out of my face. So I don't want to um, kind of go overboard. <laughs> And I'm wiping off my lips because I hate that nasty smear of foundation that people have on their lips when they're doing tutorials. Next, I'm going to be taking my concealer, my favorite concealer, and I'm going to be covering my under, under eye dark circles. And I'm also, hey guys, luck trick, I'm also going to be cleaning up my eyeshadow, but I like to carve it out to make it look more sharp and cleaned up. And I'm just pushing this under my eyes, and this is in the shade NC42. Next, I'm going to be going in with my LA Girl Concealer in Beautiful Bronze and I'm just going to be contouring my face. This is more like a bronzer to me, but for me, sorry. <laughs> but, um, you know, I like it. It, it, looks, it looks nice and dewy. that double chain girl next I'm gonna be doing a, um, a little baking I'm gonna be using my Laura Mercier translucent not invisible translucent um, powder and just setting that under my eyes and I like starting off with a little bit under my eyes and then packing it on <laughs> so um, nothing gets smeared in the process and for this look I'm gonna be going around my mouth as well because I want my entire mouth area to be matte because I'm doing such a loud lip and I don't want the lipstick to bleed and yeah, 
So we're just baking the hell out of my face today. Yes, we are. Next, I'm gonna be carving out my uh, contour with some uh, more contour. <laughs> and this is the Marc Jacobs contour um, kit and I will list the colors down in the description box. I could just dust off any extra product off my face so everything looks flawless and matte. And then I'm going to be going with this mauve, or how I like to call it, mauve. I like to call it mauve, guys. It's mauve. Um, blush. And then I'm going to be going in with this um, eyeliner. Yeah, that's what you call it. <laughs> I'm so bad at narrating. Eyeliner and just, you know, doing a classic winged look. And I do have a tutorial on how I do this, so I will list that down in the description box as well. And my camera died, but I caught it because I'm awesome. <laughs> Next, I'm going to be going with some blush. And it's the same blush that I use on my crease area. Just dragging that under my lash line, on the bottom lash line. And then I'm going to be going in with some, there's a bronze color in the palette and I will list the name of that down below. And it's very similar to Brown Script if you have the color Brown Script eyeshadow from MAC. It's very, very similar to that um, eyeshadow color. So I just drag that under my lash line as well. And then I'm going to be going in with what's left over on the brow brush uh, and just dragging that under my bottom lash line to make it look more full and lash, lash full. Yeah. That's not a word. Next, I'm going to be going with my Maybelline mascara that a lot of people recommended to me in my last video. Just packing that on. And I always forget this step, but you gotta make sure that you go over the lash glue with some eyeliner so you don't see the actual lash glue reflect off of light. Next, I'm gonna be contouring my nose with Corduroy by MAC and Wedge, my two favorite colors to mix for contouring my nose. And I'm just gonna contour the heck out of it because I love, this is my favorite part, favorite part. Next, I'm going to be applying some All That Glitters eyeshadow, and I love this eyeshadow as a highlight. It's so pretty, and I just apply that on areas where I want the light to hit, and I want to make sure I put it on my Cupid's bow as well, because I'm doing such a bold lip. And yes, so I, I'm trying out these new uh, Maybelline lips blurb, blurb or blur, I don't know. <laughs> but um, they're new, and if you guys want, I will uh, do a review on all the colors that they have and swatch them for you, but I really like this lip product. It is very nice. The only downfall I would say with this lip product is that um, it's very hard to apply. You gotta use, like I, I was brave enough to just go straight from the tube, but if I were you, I would definitely use a brush. Um, but it's very moisturizing, it's so matte, and, but it's not as drying. It's just, it's a really good product. And 
and this is the finished look ladies i hope you enjoyed it and if you like it please give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you'd like to see any other tutorials by me thank you bye